Hey, look at that. That's cool. Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to discuss a few facts, and these are personally all my opinions, nobody has to agree with them, you don't have to get mad, these are my personal opinions, I am fucking furious right now. So, the first thing that I want to say is, why the fuck, Treyarch, do you keep doing the four fucking perk rule? I don't understand what that is, I've tried, I'm like, I'm going to buy a fifth perk, nope, you can't again, why, why, why? It's basically telling, it's basically telling me that I can't have more candy. It, it's basically like, if I, if I got a bunch of candy and I started eating, and I had a fourth piece, I'm about to have a fifth. Nope, you're not allowed to. But like, what the fuck, Treyarch? What the fuck? Are you fucking stupid, Treyarch? It does, the thing that makes no physical sense about that is, if you buy all the perks and go down, it's your, it's your own fault. It's not the Treyarch's fault. Treyarch would be awesome if they did an update and you could have all the perks. I, why can't you buy all the perks on the iPad, on the iPad zombies, on Call of Duty, on Black Ops 1, iPad zombies, you can buy all the perks. Why you can't? You there. What the fuck, Treyarch? Do a fucking update and make that shit work. Like, how, how, how fucking lazy are you to keep the five perk rule, four perk rule up, you can't buy more than four perks, only in certain maps and special abilities, that's my opinion everybody, so don't get all furious about that, and what's with the slide, what the fuck, Treyarch, you, you keep, you can't, you, you can't do that, you can't just have Black Ops 1 and 2, the dolphin dive, and then Black Ops 3, a fucking slide, what the, sh what is that shit, now I've never played the giant yet, because guess what, it's only available for Xbox One, not 360. Thanks a lot, Treyarch. Thanks a lot. I personally, I think Treyarch hates 360 gamers. I I'm basically saying that from experience. Like, why the fuck would Treyarch make no campaign for... No campaign, apparently, for uh, 360. Now, I know a lot of companies are doing this to make a stride to get everybody on the Xbox One. But here's the thing that Treyarch and other companies don't understand. Like, just like me and the average half of the fucking world can't afford an Xbox One at the moment. Because even if the lowest price, which is like 300 bucks for an Xbox One... If you're like me and you can barely fucking afford anything, you're on the bare minimum here, like what the fuck, Treyarch? Why would you do this to us? You basically, you, you fucking just screw us over. You just screw us, you screw the half of the, like at least a fourth of the people that can't afford an Xbox One and want to play the game. They can't. I don't even know if there's going to be DLC for the 360. Personally, I don't think so. I don't think there's going to be any DLC. I've already been told by a few people that they're like, there's going to be no DLC for 360. Now, I have to admit that this Zombies is kind of good. I'm not going to say it's 100% perfect. Oh, I'm talking so much here. My mouth is uh, so dry. Uh, oh, Treyarch. Where the fuck is fucking split screen like that was the whole fun of all the call of duties to have split screen and Treyarch says it's not compatible with 360 what the fuck does that mean Treyarch know what that means Treyarch get off your motherfucking lazy ass and fucking put it in there holy crap Treyarch you like no you know what me going about taking a shit would I've I would have done if I took a shit I would have done more work on that than they did, than Treyarch did on Black Ops 3 for the 360. Like, Treyarch, why? Why Treyarch? Now, I know Treyarch is probably thinking, if we make our game for 360 extremely shitty, people will buy an Xbox One. Well, guess what? I do want to buy an Xbox One so I can actually fucking play the fucking game. But, there's a problem there again. I have no fucking money. If magically Treyarch wants to send me a fucking Xbox, if, if somehow s Microsoft or someone wants to send me a, a couple of free Xbox Ones, that would be great. But guess what? We live in real life, not a fucking dream world. We're imaginary. In dream world, we can have all Xbox Ones and everything can be all magical. Now, I know that Microsoft is making Xbox Ones that you can play 360 games on and it's going to be this December they're gonna upgrade stuff I've heard many people tell me this that you will be able to play 360 games on the Xbox one and online with the 360 games on the Xbox one now that would be amazing that would want to make me buy an Xbox one but there's also a problem again affording an Xbox one now 
to half of the, to about an eighth or fourth of the world, the question to them is, do I want to get, do I want to actually eat for the next week or buy an Xbox One? And I'm not joking, that some people are, some people are that poor. Like me, I, I can barely afford the essentials. See how skinny I am? That, that's the problem there. I, I, I can't even, I can barely afford anything. So, that's the thing, everybody. That's the thing. Those are some of my personal opinions. Now, I know the campaign. The only reason why campaign's not in this is because of quality. The quality is a lot better. But I don't care. Like, they could have just put the campaign in there and had a really a crappier quality. That wouldn't bother me. If the campaign was amazing and the quality was kind of bad, th that really doesn't bother me there. Like, it, it really doesn't. Like, I don't know what they're going to do. So, the last thing that I want to talk about is... Uh, Sliding, the perk rules, that, uh, campaign, split screen. I think I've covered everything I wanted to talk about today, Treyarch. Uh, Treyarch, uh, yeah, I don't know why Treyarch, I know why Treyarch's doing this. They're trying to get the move to make everybody do Xbox One, but you can't afford it. Oh, and another thing that I want to discuss is, uh, that's funny. I've been calling Syndicate out forever, and he never answers me back. It's so weird. I've been messaging, well, not recently anymore, but I know, like, a couple years ago, I used to message him daily, and I was like, yo, dog, I'm like, if, I'm like, I'm like, Syndicate, if you don't answer me back, you're gay, and then he didn't, and then, I'm joking, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make everything feel better now. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, and then I'll tell you about the secret the time I met Syndicate. But, like, that was, like, seven years ago. That was, like, back in 2007 or 8. And that was when I think Syndicate said he had, like, 50,000 or 100,000 subs. And I didn't really know who he was at the moment. So I'm like, cool, cool, cool. And then all he did the entire motherfucking game was camp. But some bitch just camped in the glitch, and I'm like, really, dude? I'm like, really? I'm like, play the game. I, and in in the end, he had like two. In the end, he went down and raged or something, and then I didn't even go down at all. And then I went down at the very end is when we gave up and stuff. So that was my encounter with Syndicate. I know no one has believed this story ever. It's a true story. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I wish Syndicate would answer me because. Uh, I don't know, I've been calling him out for years right now. Either A, he's got no balls. B, he's ultra busy, which 80% of the time I'm busy too, so I'm not gonna say he he's got he's got uh he's got Duke Nukem ones there. Uh and yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Or don't thanks. If if you agree with me on a lot of the things I said about Treyarch and the Tree Six, Treyarch hates Xbox 360 players. And thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you didn't enjoy if you liked the game. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, bye.